Welcome to Mystery Handicap. I'd like to wish all of you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I hope you were with me last weekend for the Great Two Fort Lauderdale at Gulfstream where I picked the tone to win. Morning line was 12 to 1. Tone out the gate was 17 to 1. Came in second, paid $17 to place. Got beat by uh, the one horse, Doswell, who I also picked to come into money. I uh, used on my tickets as well. That exact paid for $1, 80 bucks. Not too bad. Uh, I don't, I'm not picking any 17 to 1 horses on top in this race, though. This is one of six greatest stakes races at Santa Anita. Opening day for Santa Anita on Sunday. It's race number 10, grade one Malibu stakes, seven furlongs with a purse of $300,000. Let's take a look at the four horse, Dr. Scheibel. Uh, last time out in the Breeders' Cup sprint, took on Jackie's Warrior. Got the stretch and got the lead, he was home free. And from out of nowhere comes Aloha West to beat him at the wire by a nose. It's a tough beat for Dr. Scheibel in that race. Losing by a nose in the Breeders' Cup sprint. Now, before that race, he had won five in a row, including the grade one Bing Crosby in the grade two Santa Anita Sprint Championship. Dr. Scheibel has been never out of the money in eight career races. He absolutely loves the track. You think of Halls that lost by a nose in the Breeders' Cup Sprint. And won five races in a row before that, several greater stakes wins. Would be the favorite in this race. But that's not the case. It's the favorite is this horse, the number five, Flight Line. This horse is F-A-S-T fast. His debut, won by 13. Look at that speed figure. That's an impressive speed figure. He ran so fast, John Sadler gave him five months off. Came back next time out at Del Mar. Ran 108 flat, six furlongs. And just like his debut, he got to the stretch and he wasn't even trying. He was jogging. This is a very impressive son of tapping. Spent $1 million on this horse. Flavian Pratt gets the mount. Now, Flavian Pratt is Dr. Scheibel's regular jockey. But he chose Flightline over Dr. Scheibel. It's coming off a three month layoff. He's got some impressive workouts in the morning. This is a really sharp horse. This is a really fast horse. It's four to five morning line. He's not going to be four to five out of the gate. Four to five is very generous. But with all that said, keep in mind, no horse has won the Malibu Stakes in just his third start. And seven of the last 10 Malibu winners previously ran in a, in a Breeders' Cup race. So although all that's working against this horse, he's taking a huge step up in class, I, I can't go against him. I mean, he's, he's just extremely impressive. If you haven't seen his first two races, I'll tell you, go back and watch those races. This, this horse looks awesome. And uh, I'm definitely picking flight line on top over Dr. Scheibel. Now, there's no value at all in that, and I can't really find much value in this race. But uh, I'm going with, with flight line to beat Dr. Scheibel. Horse I'm looking to come in third. That was another son of Tappet. That would be the seven horse, triple tap. Uh, horse two for two. Looked impressive in his debut as well. Went in by four and a quarter. Then got a pretty good layoff. Came back and won by two and a quarter. Had some nice workouts in the morning as well. It's a nice looking horse. Using triple tap underneath the flight line, Dr. Scheibel. Close out my super factor for this race. I'll throw in the number three horse, the little boy. That's flight line to win. This is a race I'm going to really look forward to watching. That flight line is a very impressive horse. 
you haven't subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Click on all notifications so you can be instantly notified when I post pics. Good luck.